I am Marcin Nowotny and I'm going to tell you how I got my ERC grant. The main subject of our studies here is to understand how life works at the level of single atoms. And in particular we're interested in how genetic information is processed. I think that one of the most important talents in science is to be able to identify a so-called knowledge gap, the things that we don't know and things that we would like to learn. And I think this is also a critical ingredient in a successful ERC application. As far as the application for an ERC grant is concerned, I would say it's not more difficult than an application for any other scheme. And I think I seriously started thinking about applying more or less a year ahead of time so that the idea would crystallize, I would have a clear idea for the project that I would like to apply with. So this is actually a process that takes some time. Uh, in my case, something that was very helpful was the help of our uh, grant office, which helped me enormously with the formal part of the application. And for example, helping me preparing the budget of the project. Uh, I think this was a crucial element that allowed me to concentrate on the scientific idea rather than the formal part of the, of the application. I think it's very important to prepare for this interview extremely well. You only have 10 minutes to present your idea to a quite diverse audience of the panelists and you want to convince them that your idea is really interesting. So I started my preparations actually uh, probably a couple of months ahead of time, rehearsing my presentation, improving it, so that what was left was the essence of my idea. During the interview, the, the, the stress element, I guess, is another um, element of testing your uh, resilience, if I can call it like this. When I received the email that said that I got the grant, I felt extremely happy. In fact, it was probably one of the happiest moments of my career. I think a very important aspect of an ERC grant is that it is uh, relatively simple uh, as far as the formalities are concerned and it's awarded to individual researchers. So what counts is the scientific achievements and, and ideas of an individual researcher. Basically gives you a lot of freedom. So you're able to explore the ideas and possibilities that normally would be a lot more difficult uh, to explore. An ERC grant also uh, allows you to hire members of your team uh, and strengthen your team. And this is very important because you're able to hire the most talented, the best researchers for your, for your group, the best co-workers. And this is an essential ingredient of successful scientific project. My advice for people who want to apply for an ERC grant is that you shouldn't set an ERC application or an ERC grant as your goal. Follow your scientific dream, do it the best you can, and an ERC grant will come as a natural consequence of, of this. If you try, you can make it happen. <laughs>